Case summary, Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. <laughs> okay. Tome alone. Ding, ding, a ling, ding, ding. That is a strange storm. That is a rotating graphic. I feel like we're about to go into a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> this music. It's gonna be Street Fighter. Oh, not Street Fighter, Streets of Rage. Case! I actually didn't actually read the previous. Can I scroll? Nope. Shit, I missed it. <laughs> Case? No, I have some overdue books to drop back. Alright then. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here. Ah, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna arrest the weather. Things you'll try to do to justify this department. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Is that like a um, uh, picture of a little China storm? Like that film is awesome film, by the way. Um, not just for its comedy, but it's actually incredibly well directed and well made. It's perfect action <laughs> comedy movie. Like, serious, serious good quality. From a filmmaking standpoint. Plaque. This is a library. What a helpful plaque. Statue. These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. <laughs> they should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, it was where the mayor kept her line collection. Right. <laughs> Alright, that clears that up, so... These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. Uh, Seriously? Give me two links to the same dialogue. Squad car. How many places do we need to solve, do you think, to get a car that doesn't look like... doesn't leak in the rain? Keeps us fresh, sharp even. I guess that... Oh, I can speak to him again. We'll be done in a jiffy, detective. Will you go first? Nope. Okay, then. Fines. For being late. How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Patrick Dooley. Rules are rules. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? <laughs> Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No, here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. <laughs> kid? The one who's responsible for the storm. And you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? Nice. Silence. A silence sign. Shh. What were you saying about ghosts? The place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual? <laughs> Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame? He's the only one here often enough, suspiciously often if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do or else I'll call a pair of oddball priests and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. What books did Dooley borrow? Rules to Rave 2 Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. The law, what is it? And do we really need it? <laughs> hey, what happened to, li to librarian reader privilege? Confidentiality, I guess you mean? It's not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up on the law book. Not enough pictures. What's that you're reading? Guy Light, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. I don't know what that means. Of a what now? A reverse vampire can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where, he, <laughs> where it's a prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. I mean, proms are often on the night, or the evening at least. It's usually dark at least, I would say. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds interesting. Why, it sounds awful, Detective. Oh, oh, Dooley. If you need something else, anything else, I'll be here, unless I'm not. Well, where would you be? That sounds suspicious. Alright, let's look at the books. Is this your read to read pile? Oh, I've read all these. 
Uh, the desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. Okay, <laughs> perfectly balancing the desk. Like it? From a certain angle, looks like Dooley has crazy hair. Uh, uh, it's a shame they didn't. You can't do that. <laughs> Shift the, uh, the view a little bit. Flickering lights. These brownouts seem like they're ma they'd make for frustrating reading conditions. I agree. Where do we go? The office? Lamp. Even the lamp is flickering. Must be ghosts. Office supplies. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half, or a lazy approximation of half. Skizzors. Computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's hollow. So they can store more books in it. What? Photocopier. An old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. <laughs> Everyone's butt. Just mine, now that I think of it. That's the price of working out, I guess. Oh, well, it's not a bad thing, I guess. Uh, is it one of those photocopiers where they charge, like, 20p for a, a page? Because... It's probably where they make all their money. I got this for, for Doris last time. I had to get out of paying fees. I'm going to have to up the ante this time. Guy light. Why does she look like the vampire? What's with the grey head? Bit strange. Is there nothing light to click on there? Hmm. Okay. Bin, roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. <laughs> Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. You know, for evidence. Hmm. I guess there's going to be like a sewing <laughs> puzzle. Well, puzzle. Linear puzzle, because I'll presumably collect everything I need before I actually get to the puzzle, so... An old elevator. Where is the stairs? We have none. <laughs> there was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. Horror. Broken button. Seriously. I don't have the skills to wire up a normal button. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Horror. Reading room hobby. Reading room, hobby, I don't know what that means. Like hobby room or reading hobby room, is that what it means? I don't know. Sci fi or fantasy, children. Oh, hobby books, I guess, so I can learn how to sew. Well then, I guess I can do that. Makes sense. Sci fi, fantasy, and children, reception. Let's go to three. Reading room, hobby. Go to hobby. Paintings, mannequin. It looks like it's jumping. You'd jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. Ah, <laughs> that is true. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Pots and brushes? Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. There's fake pots and brushes? Paintings. Wait a minute, these paintings of children's... These are paint printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets, rich enough that he can pay children, child artists, for original works. What? Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, it's the same thing. Um, hobby books. Turn out, turning duct tape into pants. <laughs> Make your nethers sustainable. How is that sustainable? Um, DIY? How to do DIY yourself? <laughs> Uh, I'm really good at DIY. I get my sister to do it for me. That's, I feel like there's a. I feel like it's almost a bad joke there, though. I don't know what it would be then. Uh, hobby books, really? Wait, there's different ones. Whittling dice out of larger dice. <laughs> Detective, the inspectioning, investigative, role playing in the world of Darkseid. Hardwood and where to find it. 
So it took time. Oh, I was hoping I'd get to an answer if I click hard enough. <laughs> okay, let's go to this. The reading. I really, I thought I'd, we'd find a sewing thing or something. Hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Hello, my name's Rexa. I'm here to study the strange goings on, I guess. That's why you're here too, detective. Oh, uh, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff on purpose. What? Just want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. But let me know if you find anything. Chalkboard. With a graph on it. I haven't actually spoken to Dooley in all these rooms. You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's this whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? <laughs> Can I not read anywhere else? Does this room itself read? And if so, what does it read? It's actually a Reading room. It's actually named after the, the city in the UK called Reading. You have a special mind, Dooley. Chief Scully says that's why she assigned me to your department. And uh, reading in the UK is spelled like reading, just to just to be clear. Just to explain the joke, who doesn't need a chalk in the 21st century? Most people. A fair point. Okay, just a random bit of graph graph work there. Hard graph. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Uh, you know what I mean. Do I know what you mean? What what contraband? It would be in a book, really, anyway. Clock. Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. <laughs> yeah. Microfilm room. That's a glowing box. Hmm, it's radiating energy, like Rex has said. I think that may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Computer. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word and the password. Uh, we need to figure out the password. Wait, I did figure out the password. So that's Dooley. You think there's such a thing as Megafilm? Like Superfilm? Megaf I don't really quite get the joke. Micro. Oh, Micro. Megafilm. Micro. Wouldn't it be macro film? Then why would he say mega film? Uh, it's broken. If I want to look at any micro film, I'll need to find another way to do so. Am I gonna have to do that? Oh, because there is the box of micro film. Filing cabinet. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? <laughs> no, yeah. That's actually kind of gross that you'd store nail filings. Assuming it's filings of that variety. What is this painting? Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. Nope, not one word of that is true. Um, okay, let's go back to... well, not back, let's go to the second floor. Or the first floor as it is in the UK. Plant. What odd leaves that plant has. That, that's just the dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Interesting. If that's a reference, it sounds like it might be, but I don't know. What did the rabbi and the priest talk about in the library? I don't know. Nothing. Libraries are a place of quiet, respect, and solitude, which they were both respecting. You need to work on your stand-up material. I think you need to sit down. Let's go to statue. Don't blink. Children's... Thing. There's a floating book. What about this one? The words are short and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. That's, um... Wait, it's the... is that the teddy bear from the girls thing? Little Devon. Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Do a snitch? People who snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Letters. 
A, B, C, as easy as four, five, six. Teddy, you look familiar. Have I arrested you before? Floating book. Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic did book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's nothing. Right. Something else is in here. Gotta find out what. Hey, it's the dinosaur. The dust is wrong under this. It makes me think it was moved recently. The dust is wrong. The Viewmaster. The Viewmaster. I loved those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. Time like these, then I miss walking the beats. Bad baby incites a riot. <laughs> Alright. Kindergarten Kate summons the devil. Grumpy Chris hates to play. Learn to count to 107, the largest number known to science. Oh, there's a vent. There's a cold draft coming from the vent. That could be good for this kid's... That can't be good for this kid's health. I mean, he hopefully isn't sitting in the library that long. So I've got a Viewmaster, so I can put a film in it. Photograph. Can you view microfilm in that, I guess? I don't know. Maybe you can. I've always loved trains and trams, not monorails though, thinking they're better than everyone because they're up in the air. Robot. I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want, it, I want to be on the good side when the inevitable happens. You want to grow up to be a good robot. Bucks, why your parents don't love you? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there is a book named something like that. It's a joke. And Anne and Barry, Barry face financial ruin. <laughs> Little and Big Pooh save the day. Nice. Maybe it is your fault. Shit. Getting serious, these books. Go to sci-fi and fantasy. What the hell? This chest is playing itself. And the rocket is shining. Let's look at the chest. What a great game, eh? Yeah, funny looking drafts pieces though. Nice. Library card. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Library card of one smoke-faced Paul Conway. Can I use that for the computer? I guess not. It didn't tell me. The... It's got a password on. Anyway, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger until I found out that they had to go into space. <laughs> Looks like some of the rocket's aluminium. Oh, it's English, this. Okay. Uh, looks like some of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. Wait, what? Can I put the card in the Viewmaster? <laughs> Let's call that plan B. No. Huh. I feel like I've got an odd assortment of items. Sword and shield. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of Ye Duck, Side Bailiff, and his squire Dooley. I suppose we would. Um, Alright then. So I have a library card. What did I... Like... It doesn't have a password on? <laughs> Does it have a pet? Can I glue? Button? Come on, Frankie, you can append that. Uh, let's go to... I kind of want to try... Actually, there is the microphone. Get the microphone. We'll see if we can... Hmm, it's radiating energy. It's weird. There's too much shape to take. Can I not just do this? The film is too big. It's a square peg. Round hole situation. Fine. Um, what card on computer? Nope. What about... So, ghost hunting, our detective, and um, that's class of, because there is a whole bunch of eerie mumbo jumbo going on here. So, you've noticed uh, I'm majoring in the occult at the London University, is that what that is? TLU?
why would they put the in the initials? Like, and I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at myself, right? Like, TL, I'm trying to think. What was the TL? There's something that was TL where I went, but I can't remember what it was. It wasn't the actual uni I went to, but it was like... <laughs> the, the London University. It was like something, what London, what was it? Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can do that. I thought all the stuff was banned. Somebody has to catalogue and ban it all, Detective. Right. It's all fairly hush-hush. So what does one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science, so I wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Rex. Uh, from experience, I can tell you that the occult doesn't pay much. Right. <laughs> Evil doesn't pay. Oh, I skip. Um, can I show the card? Oh, um, hmm. Go back down to the reception. Can I show her this? Right. I'm. What else do I have to do? Am I crazy? Like, I'm not putting any of this together. <laughs> I have a button. I have scissors. Can I cut the card in half? No. Can I put cut the metal strip? What is this? Thin sheets of foil. So I can make a tin foil hat <laughs> if I want. Does that mean I won't get affected by the aliens or the, the ghosts? Um, can I photocopy it? Mm hmm. Um. Ah, uh, can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. I'm going to need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized. Why would the internet password be an issue for that? You need anything else? I'll be here unless I'm not. Hmm. Flickering light. What about putting metal on lights? Tetraphobia, fear of the number four. It's quite common for buildings in China. It's been missing the fourth floor. The fourth floor is there, just the button is missing. Oh, yeah. I'm not in China. You have all the answers, don't you? Uh, can I do electrics, electrical stuff? By like, put this on the button. Yeah, there we go. All right, then. and then I can gl fuck off. Can I? Hmm. Does Dooley have the skills? <laughs> Oh, she does computer engineer girl have the skills? Yeah? Let's go find her. Because she's the only person. <laughs> oh, wrong floor. I'd rather. Wait, she doesn't have the skills? To find somebody with the skills. Who have we even seen? Are you sure I can't learn? Do you have one brown coat you wear all the time or a wardrobe full of the same style? Oh, there's no answer. Come on. Uh. Uh, really, I thought. I have to keep clicking. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, that's the other one. Uh, really? I need to find somebody with the skills to wire it up. What? And the computer engineer girl can't do it. What about her? Come on, Frankie. Oh my god. Can I go outside again? No. But there's no one else in here. Am I the, am I the person? Uh, 
Dooley. Dooley! You have to do this. Hmm. What about this kid? Can he do it? Really? Robot? Wait, can I look at the ghost or something? No, oh, through the viewmaster. And that wouldn't make any sense, but you never know. Wait, who have I. I am so confused. Who else is there, though? I mean, I guess I can. Um. Progress somewhere else, maybe, but. Oh, here we go. That's weird, though. Oh, you know, I guess I talked to everyone else, yeah, to be fair. Your elevator is broken. There's no button for the fourth floor. Yep, I hope you don't want to read any horror books. Well, I would like to be able to go up there. Oh, well then, sorry, I guess. Wait, seriously? Yeah, anything else? Well. What? No! No! Now can I ask other people? Is it one of those silly cases where it's like, you have to... Uh... Fuck. Wait. It said I'd rather try someone else first. Hmm, microphone. So we don't have this still. Can I look at this yet? I'm already stumped, like... There's nowhere else to go. That I know of. <laughs> there must be somewhere else. God, why? Come on, man! The plant is hanging stuff. Mm. Like, I haven't looked at these. Glum Tales of the Sad Venture, the Library of Books. Dragon Ageism, The Witcher, Tales of an Indecisive Adventurer, right. Fantastic Geese and Where to Find Them, Fantastic Obit, Drowned in Moonlight, Strangled by Her Own Bra, <laughs> okay, Doctor Whom's Thrilling Adventures Through Grammar and Structure, Space Hike, boldly going to places safely explored by others. How to woo a Wookiee. Mass defect. They came from space, they were brains. Brains from space, space brains. <laughs> I don't know why that one's so... That one got me for some reason. <laughs> Just... I don't know. Blasters, blasters, blasters into the space weapons. Intergalactic ballistics for cats. They came up with more here, didn't they? Astro trolls. Fantastic obit. There we go, that one. Um, like, what the heck am I doing? 
<laughs> so what? I don't know why they're not commenting on these moving chess pieces. Um, I really I like. Am I just missing a like a room or something? Come on, Dooley. Or oh, little Devon. The dust is dry, like it's been moved. Cold draft. I glue it shut. Can I cut open the teddy bear? <laughs> no. Dinosaur. Ah, you fucking person. Uh, wow, I'm actually just stumped. And yet the world seems so small. Do you must have a look at the lights? Can I leave? No. Plant. Can I put her on? Can I put the hair on him? <laughs> I thought you found your owning book suspicious. It is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading but you can't get it from a local library? Maybe people just like having their own books. Maybe it's ger a germ issue. Germs really will believe in anything Hollywood tells you. Uh, oh, come on, man. The lift is broken. What? Wait, can I not cut up the film to make it smaller? I know that's silly, but... We are in an adventure game. After all. Hey! Well, it fits. <laughs> Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop off of Twin Lakes' recent history. Spider moths do it again. Interesting. Do it again sounds like they're on some kind of winning streak instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. <laughs> Mayor, uh, budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. Major staff cuts at City Library. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. It means very few people work here. Oh, yep, just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. <laughs> a retired volunteer. <laughs> Tough times. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, le right, left, right, BA. Fuck. What? I don't know what cheat that is, but that's a cheat, obviously. Hmm. Don't know, I don't remember. Can I not look at this one? Oh, it shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. Crackpot Detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walk among us. Okay. Teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walk among us. Oh, but it's me. I remember this cast. What the? Oh, shit. Detective McQueen, um, hello, who are you and how did you get here? I am that which can never be unseen, the ooze from your nightmares, the knower of the unknown. It's Alistair Crowley. Right, that's not very helpful if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know who to take how to take it. Okay then I'll bite. Tell me, oh knower of the unknown, what's going on here? Uh I don't I don't rightly know. But I know that the coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the special summoning of myself and the others lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you know what. I don't even know how to explain this. Oh, I am seeing it through this thing. Wait a minute. What was all that again? Yeet. Secret room. Mad power within. We cool, bro. We cool. 
interesting. Who's this then? Oh, it's... Oh, Conway. Okay, let's give it to him. Come on, Frankie, you can do better. Oh, come on, seriously. Can you do... What? <laughs> he can't do a button thing? Um... Is he going to come with us? Oh, shit, there's different people. Yeats. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one. Another one. Another? Ah, another spirit, yes. Then with your question, you have answered my own. Huh. Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. <laughs> Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat. The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned about here somewhere, I assume. He mentioned a hidden room, yes. But on the matter, uh, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just want... Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Can I find a ghost who can do buttons? Yes, I probably can. Here she is. Are you an author too? I don't recognise you. Aye, but not like Yon Toffs with their literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring, how to do your own plumbing. Think you could fix the elevator? With right gear I could, I. I need a new button mind. There you go. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see, it looks like it'll do a job. Uh, gives a few minutes to pop it in place. Oh, I guess that's the accent they're supposed to have. <laughs> Thanks for fixing the lift, Gale. Happy to help if it were it were done for summer useful again. E, there she goes. Now we can go to the horror section, which is surely fantastical. Fantastic. Oh look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. Oh yeah, he didn't, he didn't see the ghost, I get it. Window, looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully it's locked, I'd rather not go back out in that storm. Maybe we're gonna go to the roof at some point. Book cart. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like how to cook a dinosaur if you ever catch one. The internet and other fads. Architecture of the mind. My cerebellum. Cerebellum? Cerebellum? Oh. And MMO Accountancy, be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Alright, there's only one direction, and it's the horror direction. Edgar Allan Poe, you barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. <laughs> only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on common cliches, you're... Penny, dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan, fraud, undead, trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work? Uh, Eddie? Again, I say I do not have your book. Probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah, you're an, an infuriating man. Okay. Look at them there, hovering in uh, opposite ways. What's going on here? Didn't take his blasted book, it was that childish uh, Blighton woman. Blighton woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me, he's convinced I hid it, so more people would borrow my books over his. <laughs> Nonsense, I care not for his current zeitgeist, my works are vastly superior. Lovecraft is being such a child, I clearly have uh, I am clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my uh, atheistic horror. <laughs> with your atheistic rubbish. Right, I'll have you, mate. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You two stop it or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. <laughs> he started it. Oh, I never. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right here and not a peep. Hmm. So there are candles. These are one hell of an atmospheric fire hazard. That is true in a library. A to B. From Axis to Zero Oxygen, a murderer's primer. C to D. The dead person murderers. Wait, what? Oh no, I can't look, can I? Calvin A to Cop. 
Uh, do I have to look through all this? <laughs> Guess I do. Creepy bookshelf. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. Everyone's guilty. Haunted place. They've gone to buy poison. Nice. It kills. Lemons for every meal. Mur murder. Ninja zombies. Another terrible crossovers. The pain giver. The quirky killings. Stab fest six. The underwhelmer. Vivian's hatchet. Uh, they yearn for blood. And a little stumped again, though. Hmm. What about him? I've never been up here before because of that broken elevator. Because it's scary up here. Um. They should have said it the other way around. That would have been funny. <laughs> because it's scary. No, the lift was broken. Uh, old library card. What do I even do with this thing? Like. Let's call that plan B. Glue? Can I glue them? Glue ghosts? Candle. Can I burn... Can I huff glue? Can I burn the library card? Oh no. Um, I didn't do anything there. What about the window? It's locked. The cart. Dooley. That's one heck of a view of the city. I can't see anything through this viewmaster. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't tell anyone if you want to take it off. I will, but not just yet. Um, can I tell her the lift's fixed? <laughs> ah, here we go. Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For the health and safety reasons. Yeah, anything else, I'll be here unless I'm not. Hmm. Can I, like, rummage for it somewhere? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I can see the, the, the... What the boy is looking at, can't I? There we go. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about the kid who can see dead people. No, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Blight issues. Excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? And that Poe... He and that Poe fellow won't stop fighting over which one is the more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. I'm meant to stop those two fighting. But it's not my concern. You want this book? You stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Right, I need to find a horror book. Little Devon. Can you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghost, what a nonsense. Are you filling his head with detective? I see them, and they're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because they came the... Uh, they... Sorry, let me start again. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the mostest, dreadfulest books ever written. Alright. Oh, here we go. We've got Adams and Pratchett. All right. What's on his face? <laughs> I assume it's hair, but it's a very odd... Um, formation of hair, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Already I can't do... Adams, I read your detective books. Wonderful. Wonderfully over the top. Nice. 
Hmm. Is this just a joke room? Or is there... Like... I don't feel like I should just look... Wait, what about this one? Collection of books doesn't fit anywhere else. Wait, did Dooley have a book that was, like, horrible or something? Ah, I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Mm, no, I'm too busy reading my book to help. Soz, Dooley, can I use your card? Still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd uh, let me make a deal now, huh? Well, don't worry. We've got the card. We've had it for a long time. If you need anything else, but, oh, let's give it the card. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card, like this one? Like this one, yes. Oh good, but not this one, it's not yours. That's not even your face on it. Right, so I need to what, take a picture of my face? <laughs> I really don't want my face on here. <laughs> Imagine putting your face on a fucking photocopy. But I really need a picture of myself. Things I do for this job. Alright, so if I glue... This is going to be the least convincing fake idea I've ever seen in all my years as a cop. Got glue all over as well. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. Oh well then, here we, here you go, Paul. Paul, his name is my name is Paul, like it says on the card, my card. Paul, Paul, Paul. Trashy novel. Milo Stevenson's reverse vampire novel, Guy Light. Even holding it makes me ill. Is this really going to be the scariest book ever? Is this my book? No, it is not. What is it? The most horrific novel ever written, and it's not written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenaged girl. Teenaged girl. She's been teenaged. Reverse vampire. Love story. Sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Well, they're gone, but now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghost loose ends. Well, we've got Blighton. Uh, wrong floor. Uh, I've gotten them to uh, agree on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. Don't see why you'd want this vile thing, but I did promise here. Lovecraft. Oh, you ruined the kid's illusion, detective. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he thinks it's fake. <laughs> The indescribable rending things that rend indescribably sounds about right. Hmm. What do I do with this? Give it to the librarian? Or put it in the, uh, the bookcase? It's like a gap. There is in the middle one. Yes, L, there we go. And they'll open. My gut's telling me that I shouldn't put this book back yet. I hold on to it until I know more about that hidden area Yeats and Crowley mentioned. Well, it might be behind this bloody bookcase. You fool. Okay. Again, I said to you, I shall not converse with Crowley looks, awaiting a slip of my tongue. What did this guy want? I met your friend Yeats. He says he won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. I need something to do, something to read. Why not use that computer to go online? Two words, safe search. <laughs> Alright, maybe I can find some kind of workaround. Please, just stay here and don't do anything. 
Can I talk to Raxa? Raxa, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? Up to something naughty, detective. Me, no, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack in to steal her unpublished fanfiction. But I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the block. Want me to give it to you so I can use it too? So you can use it. Please. Okay. So we have the password. One, two, three, four. Ah. Of course I need to do it first. Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You uh, you may not want to stick around for this. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to your business, so... Shut the door on your way out. Yeet. Did I sense? Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd use. Come again, sir. Never mind. Just don't go into the room if you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. There's a place hidden behind the horror section at the fourth floor. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books... Yeah, I already know this. Oh, really? So it's, like, locked artificially? <laughs> I don't like that. Oh yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? Here we go. Here goes nothing. Well, here goes the book. It seemed to fit with a curious clicking noise. Lever. Well, the book is now a lever. Well, it isn't an L book. Right, we pull this and... Kaboom. Well, there's... Uh, there's the hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about. Creepy doorways are a reoccurring motif. I'm not too fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? Got it in one, detective. Tried to avoid getting knocked out this time. Should have said knock yourself out. Uh, hello. What the... what is all this? Magica! Alistair Crowley's guide to the popular wizard game. <laughs> the Gnostic's guide to ghouls and ghosts. Rituals for modern rituals. These are all contraband, occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? The Necronomy Nom, <laughs> a Cyclopean cookbook. Necro. I don't get that. Why Cyclopean? Wouldn't it be like Undead's cookbook? Necronomy Nom. Uh, exposed wiring, ritual book, baseball cap. Those loose wires seem to run to the roof. Oh, great. Hey, it's Mary Shirley. What are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch energies emitted from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. <laughs> I even lit candles to up the spook factor. What a strange thing to find here. Can I pick it up? No, I can't. Skull. Normal library fare this. Right, I can pick up the skull, but not the baseball cap. Okay, crawl space. A small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it lands. Oh, the skull. <laughs> Not really. I already know where it lands, but let's do it, I guess. Hope this works. Now to find where it landed. Was that the sound of the door? The kid just like run out or something? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Librarian Doris, what's all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what do you know about the other side of that fence? I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring and found all these neat new books. But the one I read was scary and I ran off. And the ghosts arrived, but I like them, because now I have friends. See, he meant no harm. Troublemaker, arrest him, breaking and entering. Into your room of illegal books. Let's say both set, off, set of charges cancel each other out. That's police corruption. <laughs> Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find him somewhere else to go once in a while. You can join me in the Blood Wolves. What's that? Blood Wolves? 
the mayor stopped paying the dib 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 tax, so we had to charge from scouts. <laughs> you okay with that? Sure. That's great, but... Oh! Mister, We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You need to get to the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, have the key. Julie, we're going to the roof, but it's raining outside. <laughs> okay. Go to the horror room, obviously. Window! Sigh, here we go. I suppose I've already ducked out of one room this case. I know I played that card too soon. <laughs> you did, buddy. You did. Wiring. More of that wiring from the secret room and it leads to the roof. Talk to Dooley. This is why I end up with overdue fees. Every time I bring a book back, I end up on the roof in the rain. <laughs> Who wouldn't avoid that? What? Get up to adventures when you're not around, you know. I never. I don't just cease to court to be because Frankie McQueen's having a night in. But Dark Side Detective <laughs> should be called the Occult Officer. Uh, I'm going to climb the ladder now. Probably for the best. Let's do it, I guess. Let's click. Do you need to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the problem. I can look at the whole skyline. Sometimes I wonder if people of Twin Lakes know how often we save their bacon. I've never saved any actual bacon. I had a cat named Bacon out of a tree once. An example to us all, Dooley. What's he gonna say? How come so much of our work is done at night and in the rain? Because <laughs> someone made this animation. Um, let's look at the antenna. The energy seems to be coming from here, but it's too powerful to go near. This is one heck of a light show. Right, oh, junction box. Oh, one of these puzzles. Who's lays? So what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible? It looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to this aerial. That should break the circuit. Then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. Right, I mean, we know how to do these puzzles, don't we? So where am I trying to go? Down here. Wait, why isn't it moving? I'm clicking. I... So I Hang on, how do I do this? Like... This has been a one-handed... Oh shit, it's a slide. Oh, it's not one of those puzzles. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh no, I don't think I'm very good at these. So I need that down there, but I need... Um... This. Am I doing the right thing here? Yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Ouch. My hand! Look, detective, the storm is dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now. Just as things were about to get interesting, we saved the day. Close the book. Oh, All the ghosts are gone. Trunks filled, detective, though I don't see why we had to take all those books. Duly, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. Why are books illegal? <laughs> what 
what, what books are illegal? Uh, I want to know. Librarian Doris, you don't find me for having the books. I don't sue the kid for entering the vault. I go back to business sans hunt haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ah, uh, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devon. Why is he in the scouts? <laughs> That's an investigation waiting to happen. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here. I don't know whether the video will continue or not. Depends how long this is, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting little uh, series of mini uh, mini adventure games. I wonder if they all like sort of add up into something in the future. Like, you know, they all sort of interconnect because it's kind of interesting that you could do one to, you know, in any order, but then you have to get funneled into three and stuff. So. We'll see if they start to come together. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope that was fun. Give me a, a like and a subscription, as people say, if you've enjoyed it and want to see more. And I do play horror games as well, and strategy games sometimes. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I will see you next time.